What's up guys, today we're gonna be hitting chest. Be sure to smash that thumbs up if you wanna get pecs so big that you can pec dance comfortably. Flies are gonna get you there. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So I'm gonna do snake number one, and this is what majority of people do, is they literally roll their shoulders forward. Um, by doing this, you're gonna be putting a lot of unwanted stress on your shoulder joints. You're not gonna be able to get the proper range of motion necessary. You're just literally kind of spinning your wheels in the gym. So you wanna really focus on retracting your scapula, keeping your chest upright, and then getting a proper squeeze. None of this like shoulder rolling, like half rep nonsense. Number two is gonna turn you from bro to pro. I promise you this much. This tip alone will blow your mind. So don't envision squeezing your hands together. Envision squeezing your elbows. Because you're focusing here, you're actually focusing more on the muscle. So by squeezing the elbows, that's a full range of motion. You don't always have to clap the hands. You just gotta fully contract that pec. As soon as you get that maximum squeeze, you push it together, that's when you're doing it right. The hands is very easy to cheat, pull on the shoulders, and I'm seeing right here, I hardly have my chest flexed, I'm mainly flexing my shoulders. That's all you want. With that good posture like Kyle said, squeeze those elbows. You can see I got a crazy good contraction here. And you want to finish your rep. Hang out in that squeeze for one to two seconds. Make sure you take advantage of that. And that's what's really going to take your gains from like kind of swinging through to actually feeling it and getting amazing mind muscle connection. Mistake number three, guys, is too much momentum. Dorian Yates was all about this, guys. One thing he advocated for was doing a conscious effort to slow down that negative. By slowing down the negative, you're gonna get more muscle breakdown, you're gonna have more time to actually think about the muscle you're working and improve the mind-muscle connection of the exercise. All in all, that's what's gonna help you gain muscle, those slow, focused reps. You gotta come up strong on the concentric, but on the eccentric, you want that nice, slow focus. You don't necessarily have to count, but be mentally aware of the rep. If you're just swinging through using momentum, short ranges of motion, you're not gonna be actually working your pec as much as you could. So I really recommend dropping the weight, using a decent weight still. You wanna make sure you're tiring out, reaching a good fatigue, getting a good squeeze, keeping that in control, big squeeze, and that's what it's all about. You're not just swinging, you're trying to work your muscles and isolate those pecs as much as possible. If you cheat your reps, you're only gonna be working a bit more biceps and shoulders, which is gonna take away from those chest gains. Okay guys, so number one most important thing is your actual feet setup. So personally, I like having my feet side by side as you guys can see on the screen. I feel like it just postures me way better. I find when I have one foot in front of the other, um, my shoulders begin to roll a lot more. However, by having your feet together side by side, like what I do, as you go higher in the weight, um, it'll tend to kind of want to push you forward. So if you guys can, like it's all about comfort and what you guys can do properly. So if you guys can maintain those three tips that we did, and you have one foot in front of the other, then that's perfectly fine. But like I said, I like having them side by side. So one important thing that we also didn't mention is a lot of people tend to have their elbows like almost like a 90 degree angle. And you're literally, you might as well be doing a regular dumbbell press at that point. We like to maintain a slight bend in the elbow. And every tip that we just told you guys, we maintain. You want to squeeze, squeeze through the elbows, and get a full range of motion, and then back. I don't go too far back because I feel like it takes the activation off the chest and it tears my shoulders a bit, but I go to the point where I still feel a lot of engagement in my chest, which is generally right about here. All the way through, squeeze. And that's how you perform the exercise, guys. Hopefully it helps you out a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did learn one, two, three, maybe even four things, please share this with someone who has been doing it improperly or could learn a thing or two. If you haven't already, smash that like button. If you want to sign up for coaching, we check out all your um, form videos. We make sure to help you reach your goals, macronutrients, programming, everything like that. Click the link down in the description below. We'll see if you guys are a good fit for us. But until then, make sure to check out all the rest of our how-to videos also down in the description below. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.